Hi guys, Alan Kavorkov here from BeTheClaw.com and this episode is a video response to Claw vs. Girl. Uh, she's another YouTuber who likes claw machines and in one of her recent videos she asked her viewers to tell her about the five favorite plush. Unfortunately I don't have all the plush that I've won over the last uh, 20 plus years um, so I decided to uh, tell you about my five top prizes uh, which happens to include uh, this guy um, which I think is really adorable. Look at his eyes. I mean, he's just really cute. Uh, so, <clears throat> I won him a couple of months ago, and I thought he was really, really nice. Um, this this prize um, I thought was kind of cool because I um, collect 143rd scale uh, models, and this I won in 1997, which is probably before some of you were born. Um, and this was also at Walmart. Uh, it, it didn't have the uh, tape, but it had a, just a regular rubber band with a hook on it, and um, that helped me win. Um, yeah, you know, back then, even back then, they had some pretty decent prizes in their machines. So uh, this uh, this is another old one, and if you're wondering what this might be, it's actually a set of portable speakers. Um, if you have, um, you can hook it up to. Um, a head, regular headphone jack on your phone or mp3 player and um, it uses batteries and you can listen with uh, little portable speakers anywhere you want it's pretty neat I actually use it on my treadmill and the, the regular um, mp3 player from Sugarloaf um, this came in a treasure chest um, I just put some tape on it so I can practice in my own machine and finally this uh, Betty Boop watch that I won in one try. This was um, obviously with the help of the tape, but actually these are can be easy to win because there's a little indentation on in the bottom of the box, so it makes it kind of easy to grab. So but those are pretty decent prizes as well. Um, they have, you know, they're pretty valuable, I think. So yeah, these are my favorite prizes. Uh, so I'm gonna stick them in my own machine and see if I can win. Uh, I've replaced the jewelry claw back with the original um, the claw from the Greyhound. It's a little smaller and actually um, uh, makes it a little bit easier to win stuff with. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, Cheetah might be a challenge because you know he's kind of big and has a bit of a weight to it. If I can grab him around his neck, that's probably probably the only way to win this guy. Uh, but um, you know, let's give it a shot and see see what I can do. Let's try for the car. This is actually the first time I'm I've put in uh, this particular prize into my own machine. I'm not sure if I'm going to have much luck uh, since um, the box is a little larger than the claw, uh, so I'm relying on tape. If I'm going to win it at all, it's going to be by the tape. Hmm. So far, it just keeps slipping through the cracks between the fingers. There is a decent gap between the claw fingers, although right before I started recording I did um, do a practice run and I won one of the boxes by the tape, so hopefully it should be doable. But so far not having much luck. should probably give up and try for something else. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I think that's enough. Let's uh let's see if I can let's try for the watch maybe. that was close. I needed to get one of the fingers under the box of the watch. And let's see if we can... It should be doable. Yes, that's that should be perfect. Yeah. 
And that was a little easier than I expected. Yeah, the shape of the claw really makes a huge difference. Let's see if I can get the MP3 player. It's a little close to the to the side wall there, but I'm not sure if if I'm gonna be able to move it a little to the left. Mm. Ah. I keep missing the tape for some reason. Jeez. Come on. It doesn't look like this claw is very tape friendly. It doesn't really have much of an overbite. Yeah, with the with the other claw that I had from the uh, treasure shop, that that probably would have I probably would have won them all by now. <laughs> but I do like to make things a little bit more challenging, so I was hoping that I'd be able to win without relying on tape, and I just put them on just in case. Because sometimes a combination of a good grab and the tape can actually help. But these things are a little slippery, so at least the speakers and the MP3 player, there's really no easy way to win them without the tape. So if the claw is not very tape friendly, then I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of luck with these. I'll just keep trying a couple more times and then move on to the cheetah. Gee, that's just not happening at all, is it? Grab the tape and then it slips through the cracks. All right, well let's let's see what we can do with this guy. Oop, he got stabbed by all three fingers. Poor thing. I did manage to win it once with this claw right before I started shooting the video, so I, I like to test and make sure that things I put in are actually winnable before I make the video. And uh, I, I was able to get the claw right around his neck, and it was it was a nice, decent grab. I wasn't sure if the claw would be strong enough to hold it because it's it is kind of heavy, but the claw is actually relatively strong. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that tells you how strong this one is. It, it it was able to hold this whole thing by the just by its paw. That's amazing. Alright, I have one more play to go. And let's see if uh Yep. Oh well. Well, I guess two out of five isn't too bad. Uh it's better than I expected, so uh, I want to thank Reese, uh, Claw vs. Girl, uh, for this awesome suggestion. 
Um, if you'd like to share your uh, top five prizes with us, uh, feel free to post a response on my channel and um, at Claw vs. Girl as well. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.